We have already done two questions. What costs alcohol? What is the gain of alcohol? But now we come to maybe the most important question, and that is, what is your belief about alcohol? And what do I mean with a belief? What are your advantages of alcohol? I'm going to make a balance. And every person in this world has beliefs about alcohol, advantages, why do we drink? And we also see disadvantages of drinking. The very important thing that you have to do right now is to fill in your beliefs, your advantages of alcohol and also your disadvantages. This exercise is crucial and I want you that you take the time for it. So write it down now. What are your advantages? Why do you drink alcohol or what are your beliefs about alcohol? So you have written down your advantages. I've learned in life that we see many advantages. And maybe there's a chance that you have write down the next one. Yeah, alcohol is fun. Maybe you have written down, alcohol is relaxing. Alcohol is chill. Maybe you have written down, alcohol is cozy. Maybe you have written down, yeah, when I drink alcohol, I forget stuff. The next thing that people see as an advantage is because everybody does it, huh? everybody does it. Things that can be on this list is because it makes me more self-confident. Another thing that can be on the list is to celebrate things. When do we drink alcohol? To celebrate. Other people say, because you want to escape reality. Another thing can say, uh, can be because it gives me courage. Now I have written 10 things down. It can be that there are other things that I didn't mention here, but now it's very important to Think about these beliefs. Maybe you have also written with disadvantages yeah, that it, it costs money. Cost money. Maybe sometimes people get aggressive. Bad for your health. For health. Health. And maybe others. But the most important thing are the advantages. And how did I quit drinking alcohol forever? Because I'm beginning to think about the advantages. And the first thing I always ask myself, is it really true? If I drink alcohol, is it really fun? And think about yourself. The last 10 times that you have drunk alcohol, was it fun? And you can, re re you can write it down, the last 10 times that you have drunk alcohol, how much was it really fun? If I looked at myself, I saw that it was maybe 1 out of 10 times that it was really fun. Because what happens when we drink alcohol, we think we have fun. But what happens with us, we numb our brain, we don't know what we tell to each other. And what happened? I thought I was very fun, but this thinking was not right. And what happened? This advantage became a disadvantage. And for me, this is crucial. Every advantage that we think we have about alcohol is not completely true. So is alcohol fun? 
for me, alcohol was not fun anymore. It was a belief. And it, I, don't, I don't know if you know it, but our belief are becoming reality. So we really have to think about what we believe. Second belief a lot of people have, it's alcohol is so relaxing. You have a day at work, you come home, you drink a glass of wine and it's, oh, it's so relaxing. But is alcohol really relaxing? Think about it for yourself. If your child of five years comes to you and he says to you, ah, oh, mom, dad, can I relax and have a glass of wine? What will we say? We say, no, no, that's not good. Do something else to relax. And think about it for yourself. Relaxing. What is relaxing for you? For me, relaxing is taking a good bath, is, is, uh, taking a, uh, a walk, is, is going to the sauna. This is really relaxing. But is alcohol really relaxing? I don't know if you are like me, but sometimes I drank a bottle of wine and I fell asleep in my couch. Is that relaxing? For me, it wasn't relaxing at all. I was just numbing my brains and I was numbing myself. If we think numbing is relaxing, yeah, we, we, should, uh, we should all keep doing it. But alcohol is not relaxing. I always ask the question, if alcohol wouldn't exist in this society, in this world, what would you do to relax? A lot of people don't think about it. They don't know it because we are so used to grab to alcohol. So that's why many people drink to relax. And you have maybe problems uh, at your work, you come home. But by drinking, is this problem going to be solved or not? I don't think so. Next thing, uh, we use it uh, to chill. Uh, alcohol is so chill, it's relaxing. But is it really like that chill? If you see young people getting drunk, are they really having fun? Are they really relaxing? Are they chilling? I sometimes see a lot of uh, despair in young people's eyes. And it's not chilling. It's it's just sad and alcohol isn't chill at all. Every day there are people dying from alcohol, a product that is all over the world and we use it without thinking about it. Next thing that people say, it's so cozy. Ah, with your, with your partner, with your family, with your friends, you drink a glass of wine, it's so cozy. But is it really that cozy? The reason why most people think it's cozy is because we have the image of the television. That you come home, you sit down to the fire, you take a glass of wine. But is it really that cozy? Do you need it? The most times eh, when I was drinking, it was not cozy at all. It was cozy while I was sober. But when I started to drink, it wasn't fun, it wasn't cozy anymore. Sometimes my father came to me in a bar because I was sleeping almost uh, there. So it wasn't cozy at all. My friends were already going home. I was alone there. It was somewhere pathetic. Sometimes I was really pathetic when I was drunk. I don't judge myself for it, but sometimes it was. Sometimes I see people getting drunk. It was New Year's Eve. People get drunk. They take their pants off, I don't know, and they think it's amazing, it's fun, it's nice. But somewhere I feel compassion. I feel sorrow. That's why I make this video to, to get your knowledge better and to, 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 to let you see the, the truth or my truth about alcohol. And you, you see what is happening? Everything we put here as advantage is, isn't a real advantage. We think it's an advantage. A lot of people think they're addicted to the product alcohol, but people are addicted to the, to the beliefs about alcohol and not the product. There are people who are really addicted to the product, but a lot of people are addicted to the beliefs. It's a very, very major insight that I had also a couple of years ago. A lot of people who come to me in coaching, they say, when I drink, I forget. And I say, okay, and do you like it? Oh, yeah, I don't think anymore. And I say, is it good? Yeah, yeah, it's good. But it's numbing yourself. 
It's numbing yourself temporarily. When I went out, when I was younger, I said sometimes to, the, to my friends, oh, I want to be off this world tonight. I want to get drunk and be wasted. But is it that good that we drink to forget? For me, being sober is really handling life in a good way. It's in a way that you can solve your problems. It's using your brains, not to numb them, but, but to use your brains to solve your problems in life. And a lot of people, they try to drink and forget their problems, but it doesn't work. The same thing if a child comes to you and he says to you, I have a problem, what will we say? Ah, drink a glass of wine, you will forget it. No, we don't say it. So you see, if, if you want to forget your problems, for me it's, it's, it's okay, but it's not the best thing you can do. And you will not forget your problems. When you drink, the mo most of the time, the next day you have problems with the problem that you already had. So it will, it will not help you. But you see, we think it's fun, we think it's relaxing. Is it really like that? W look at yourself closely, it's not easy. Because it's looking in the mirror and then you have to accept. You have to accept yourself that you weren't maybe the best version of yourself. One thing that uh, people say to me, yeah, but Michael, everybody drinks. And the first thing I say, but I don't drink. Yeah, but you. So it's not everybody. Not everybody is drinking alcohol. Maybe a lot of your friends, a lot of people, but you will always find some people around in your family or around your friends that will not drink alcohol. So not everybody does that. And there's also a saying it, if everybody jumps off the bridge, will you do it? No, you will not do it. It's because it's an illusion that we don't see the things as they are really. Not everybody drinks alcohol. A lot of people think, yeah, when I drink alcohol, I become more confident. And somewhere it's true because alcohol takes away your fear. In life, a lot is based on fear and love. And alcohol takes your fear away. That's why we are more motivated or we are, when we go out to a bar that we can step to a girl to, to seduce her or something. It's because we are not having this fear anymore. But think about the next, uh, the next thing. You go to Hawaii. Tomorrow you, you take the plane to Hawaii and you see the pilot. The pilot and he's drinking five, six beers. And you go to the pilot and you say, ah, oh, why do you drink? And he says, yeah, when I drink, I'm much better pilot. Will you, will you get in, to, in that plane? I don't think so. A lot of people say, yeah, I'm self-confident. But is it really like that? Think about yourself. You, alcohol is taking your confidence away. In the long term, eh, think about the typical alcoholic guy who's in the street. Is that a guy who looks self-confident? I don't think so. A lot of people say, yeah, we drink alcohol to celebrate life or to celebrate a, a party. Okay, a lot of people do it, but is it always necessary? I'm a really big fan in life of leading by example. Hey, Gandhi said, be the change you want to see in the world. And that's what I'm trying to be every day. If there's a party, it's always a tea party. And it is possible, it, it is fun. Sometimes uh, we do parties till three, four o'clock in the morning and it's fun. You don't need alcohol to have fun or to talk with people. It's also an illusion. When we were, when we were very young people, eh? when we were seven, eight years and you have your birthday party, at the beginning, we are a little bit shy. People are coming, your friends, seven, eight years are coming and you're a little bit shy. But then your, your mother, she, she's baking pancakes and 10 minutes after she comes back and all the young people are playing together. Why? Because it's a normal process. We are a little bit shy, we are a little bit thinking and, and then after a while it, it, gets, it, it gets started. We, we, we start to talk with each other and the fear goes away in a natural way. So we don't need alcohol to celebrate. If alcohol wouldn't exist in this world, how would you celebrate stuff? 
I sometimes celebrate and uh, I, I do it by giving myself a, a city trip as a present. Like, okay, I celebrate, it's a good gift for me. You see, we say, a lot of people say after a week, we, we, after a week of working, we get drunk and we, we celebrate. But I, I do it differently. If I w work a week very good, I'm going to do something that, that helps me, that feeds me. Alcohol is not good. So celebrate, try to celebrate other things. That's also something very nice and, and, and fun about alcohol. You quit these things and you have to search for new things. You have to search how can I have pleasure in a sober way? How can I have a lot of fun in, in this sober way? So it's a, it's a process and it's a journey that you that is amazing to do. If you look at the mountain and you only look at the top of the mountain, it's like maybe, whoa, but you have to go, you have to enjoy each step you, you go up in the mountain. And it's also the process with letting go of alcohol. A lot of people say, yeah, I drink to escape reality. And okay, you can do that. You can do that. But is it a solution to your problems? I don't think so. So for me, escaping reality, I try to do it almost 10 years in a row. I can tell you that all my attempts were not successfully. Now in my years of soberness, I talk a lot with people. I sometimes go to a, a psychiatrist. I go to, to people who can help me, to coaches. And by talking, I, I, I realize how my life is and I see the truth about my life. And if you see the truth about something, then you can do something about it. But escaping reality, it's not a solution. A lot of people say, yeah, when, when, uh, when I drink, it gives me courage. But it was a little bit the same with the self-confidence. Does it really give you courage to do stuff? Wouldn't it be very courageous if you can speak your truth sober? You understand? So all these things that I've written here, and there's a chance that you have put other things. But you can ask yourself, is it... Is it true? If you see these things, is it true or, or is it a belief that you have assumed during the years? So, and what happened in my life is I had the advantages, I had disadvantages like alcohol costs a lot of money. Sometimes I, I, I became aggressive when I was drunk. Um, it was also very bad for my health. But what happened in my life, if, if, if we look at a lot of places, we will always make a, a balance with the advantages and disadvantages. But what I've noticed in my life is as long as you see one advantage, you will keep on doing something. The reason I don't want to drink anymore is because I don't have any advantages anymore. I don't, for me, alcohol is not fun, it's not relaxed, it doesn't taste good. For me, the balance disappeared. And for me, this was my biggest insight ever. And if I help people to quit drink alcohol, and there are still people drinking alcohol, it's always because they still see one advantage. And a lot of the times, it's because they want to escape something, some reality. But it's so important that you, that you try to find solutions for the problems you have. And then you will stay sober. Because, because quit drinking alcohol, everybody can say, I, I stopped today. But staying sober, how will you handle life? How will you handle these problems? How will you handle maybe when you're not feeling good? And that's very important to handle. So I've written here 10 different things down. Maybe you have others. You can always let me know. Like, yeah, I have this advantage, this advantage. And maybe I can help you personally to, to transform this advantage. Because as long as you see one advantage, you will keep on doing it. Try to skip out all the advantages. And then you can stay sober. This was a long video, but it's a crucial video. It's also important 
if you don't understand everything from the beginning, watch it again, watch it again. There are books in my life that I already read 10 times. Because sometimes we, don't know, we, do, we cannot see everything from the beginning. So take your time. There's a sentence and it is repetition is the mother of all skills. So I hope after all these videos now that you gained a lot of knowledge, that you see another truth about alcohol, that you have already changed your view on alcohol. And I'm really glad that you trust me as your guide. So really thank you for it. Thanks for, for still being here with all these videos. And I hope you are really making a progress and that you enjoy the process of being sober.